Hey everyone, it's Judy here, and today we are back with a really quick video because Nintendo of Japan just released a new trailer for Animal Crossing New Horizons on Twitter. So it starts off with this really cute scene of the cherry blossoms. They look absolutely beautiful. You can see there's some butterflies flying around. It looks lovely. Nothing too new in that scene, I don't think. Here we can see a little hermit crab. Again, nothing too new here. If we fast forward a bit, here we can see the bagworm has made a return along with the dragonflies. And they're all looking so beautiful. This I want to point out though, look, when the wave hits, they kind of like scatter. So it does seem like there's some type of animal. And this makes me wonder if not only are we going to get more fish and more insects, more art and more fossils to collect, but is there a whole new species of animal in this game? Like little tidal pool creatures that are going to like swim around on the rocks? And I think that would be such a cute feature in this game. If we have little animals that live in the tides, I would absolutely, I'm here for it. Look how cute they look. They look like some weird sort of amoeba, little sea slug type things. Here we can see the owls. They appear to be sitting on the bulletin board, similarly to how they did in New Leaf, but look at their HD graphics on them. Like they look like you can see the fur on them and they look so, so adorable. And so do the little slug things. Like they all look so adorable. Everything looks so adorable. I'm so here for it. And if we go a bit further, you can actually see the plain shadow. Like I said before, I love the shadows in this game. Look at the sun's gradient. It's so beautiful. Here we have a person looking out the window and it just looks so cute. Like she has a little face against the glass. Here they're setting a fire. All of this we've kind of seen before. I don't think there's anything new. Looks like she's about to go fishing and it is coming on March 20th. The other thing I would really like to note besides the new little creatures and also what is that laundry? Is that just a normal laundry basket? It looks like there's some sort of a tool sticking in it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe that's something new too. But the other thing I really wanted to mention about this trailer is right here, there's multi-level town. So we already kind of knew this, but this just confirms our town can get to three layers, maybe even more. I mean, who knows? And I really love this because I actually wanted to build my town up on a cliff. So that makes me really happy to see like, this is just really cool. I think the most levels we've had before was two. We had a third one in City Folk, but we couldn't access it. So that's really awesome. Here you can see the player is crafting some new items. I'm trying to look at the background to make sure I don't miss anything else. And then I want to point out in the fishing scene, so here she's catching the hermit crab. Here there's a snail, but right here, when she catches this fish, there is appears to be a bag of fish bait in the background. That's the only thing I can think of that that could be. And also this bucket has been in almost every scene. So I'm starting to wonder, I know it's been in previous games, but I'm wondering if it serves a purpose. Like, can we actually put our fish in the bucket or is that just for decoration? I'm not sure, but I think the addition of fishing bait is going to be really exciting. Like different bait will catch different fish. And so this bait seems to have caught a red snapper. So you can see she'll catch a red snapper. In this scene, she's playing a little instrument with the star in the background. Now we've seen this instrument before in the direct, but we haven't seen it in use. So it's very exciting to see the character actually interact with it. And I wonder if this tool actually does something, you know, like when she plays it, something's going to happen. Like why is she playing it by the sea at night, you know? And I also wonder about all these scenes where they're standing on the rocks. I don't know, the rocks have creatures in them. Like it seems like the rocks, I thought they looked cool, but it seems like they have a lot more interesting stuff going on with them than I originally thought. There's also a shooting star in the background, which I think that constellations are coming back. We already know that Celeste is coming back, so I think we're going to be able to do that again, which I love that there's more activities for night owls because players that play at all times of the day should be supported. I'm trying to see if this tree stump has a design on it. it looks like it's just a circle. All right, so I, I don't know if designs are coming back, but there you can see on the final screen, the bucket has made another return. So I really am wondering if the bucket serves a purpose, but that's basically the main things I want to highlight on this direct are just these new little, uh, the fishing bait that you just saw, these owls, um, the three level towns, and also the little rock creatures. Let me see if I can pull them up real quick before we end this video, just to finish off with them. I think they're right before the owls here. There they are. What are those? You know, like, what do those resemble? Let me know in the comments below what you think those are, because I really, I don't even have a guess, but I love them. I love them so much and I want them all. 
So let me know what your thoughts of this new trailer are. I will see you in the next speed build, as long as there's not other news, because then I'm gonna cover that as well.